Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I've got my Korean fashion haul to share with you guys. So a few weeks ago, I was in Korea and I bought a lot of Korean fashion. So Korean fashion and Japanese fashion is very different. Korean fashion is so much cheaper. So I actually went a bit crazy and I mean, Sunny was a really bad influence. So I ended up spending a lot of money in Korea. And also I made a makeup haul. So if you guys want to see what makeup I bought in Korea, I'll link that right over here. So please remember to check that out if you're interested to see what I bought. So I'm going to get straight into the video, so let's start. So first off, I got an off-the-shoulder top and I got this in Gangnam Station, I believe. So these tops are super, super popular right now in Korea. They are just pretty much, I don't know how to say, like just a spaghetti strap and then goes off the shoulder. So this one has buttons at the front which just comes undone, which is really easy. And they only come in one size, unfortunately, so three size, but I think this will fit a small to medium. And typically it looks really good in a skirt, so if you put this inside a skirt, it looks really cute. And I actually bought in two colours because Sunny told me that if I like something, just buy it in every single colour. <laughs> So yeah, I got the blue version and the white version. I like the white version a lot more because it goes well with everything, but because I wore this top so much, I also decided to get the blue one, which also goes well with a lot of things, but because it's blue, it's a bit harder to match with other items. But still, they are both super cute, and these were, I think, $15 each, so that wasn't too bad at all. Next item is another off-the-shoulder top, but in a different style. It's got this kind of, I guess, ruffly thing here, so you can wear it on top of jeans or shorts. And yeah, once again, it's another off-the-shoulder top. Off-the-shoulder tops are really popular right now in Korea, so definitely it's in style right now. Perfect for summer, and I mean, now it's coming towards the end of summer, but it's still really hot, so I've been wearing these a lot lately. Next is another stripy top and yes once again it is off the shoulder and this one is kind of like a oversized shirt so if you just tuck maybe the front part into jeans it looks really good it also is more flowy at the back it's a lot longer and this one I believe was about $20 it also came in a plain white one but since I already have a plain white off the shoulder top I decided to get the stripy one and yeah it goes well with a lot of items I also got this one at Gangnam Station. Okay, last off the shoulder top is this blue and white stripy one. And this one was only about $10. I got this in Hongdae. The only thing I don't like about it is that, I don't know, when I wear it, it looks very strange on me. A problem in Korea is that when you buy clothes, you actually can't try them on when you go out to the markets. So you just have to buy it as is. It's got buttons at the front and this kind of ruffly thing, but I don't know, it just looks very strange when I put it on. It doesn't really go well with any of my bottoms I've got. I feel that also when I wear it, this roughly part also comes up a little bit too much, so it looks very strange. Next item is from Forever 21, and this is a, I guess, like, white lacy top. I bought this because I was going to a music festival in Korea, and unfortunately I didn't have many clothes that would, I guess, be suitable for a music festival, because most of my clothes before I had were all this Lisa, and unfortunately I'm not really into this Lisa anymore, uh, so I decided to kind of changed my whole wardrobe up, that's why I bought so much stuff. I got this in Forever 21, I think this was about $20 or so. And then, I don't know why, but I also bought this top. It's something I usually never would wear. I don't know, I guess this is something that you would, people would wear normally in Australia, or in, I guess in America as well, maybe. So I might find a use for it. I definitely cannot wear it in Korea or Japan. So I'll have to find another use for that top. Okay, this next item is off the shoulder, but it's actually a dress. It's not a top, but it looks almost the same as the other top I just showed you, but the straps are a bit bigger. And I got this in Hongdae for about $15. Only thing is like you have to be careful because um, up here, I kind of ripped it a little bit when I wore my backpack. My backpack was quite heavy that day and it pulled too much on the material. Problem with Korean clothing is that, yes it is cheap, but it kind of falls apart very quickly. So <laughs> that's something that you guys have to be careful about. But this dress is really cute and it's actually a bit too big for me, unfortunately. But it still looks cute if I'm having a lazy day, I just chuck this on. Next is this pink shirt jacket thing. I don't know. I got this in Gangnam Station for about $20, but since I'm changing my wardrobe quite a bit, I just wanted something light and easy to put on top of my clothes when it gets a bit chilly during autumn. That's coming up soon, so yeah, this one was about $20 and I really like this. It's really easy and goes well with everything. It's got massive pockets too, which is nice. And then I also got, it's, it's a little bit different, but it's a, another shirt jacket in uh, beige and also has big pockets. It's 
quite different actually. This one looks more like a jacket. Uh, it's very thin though, so it's a nice summery jacket. Right. Now I'm going to go on to bottom. So first off, I went to H&M and got this pink skirt. Um, I got this mainly because we were filming a back to school video and I didn't bring any clothes with me to Korea. So I had to buy something that was suitable for back to school. I already have the skirt in a denim kind of pattern, so I decided to get the pink one. And this one was about $30. It's I guess a little bit more expensive. I really like it and I've been wearing this one a lot. Next are these skater skirts and these are super 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 popular right now in Korea. They are everywhere. Everyone's wearing them in Korea right now actually. And because, like I said, Sunny told me to buy them in every color if I liked them. So I got a white one, a pink one, and then a checkered pink one. And these ones go well with everything so they're super easy to pair and match up with your other clothes. So yeah, I definitely recommend you get these. I think you can also go into G Market and you can find these on there as well. And these were about $20 each. There's different types. There's just a normal skirt, but you can also get ones with shorts inside. This is the one I've got with shorts inside in case your skirt blows up or something like that. And last item I got from Gangnam Station is this these shorts. Um they are very big though, so when I put them on, unfortunately they just looked a bit ridiculous on me. Comes with a belt as well and I got it for about $15. It was on sale, that's why I got it. But yeah, it's way too big on me unfortunately, which is a shame because I did like them. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, as you can see, my clothing style has changed quite a lot. Um, of course, I'm still kind of into Liz Lisa. I still wear my old Liz Lisa clothes, but when I go shopping in Japan now, I'm not so much into Japanese fashion as I used to be. I'm much more into Korean fashion now because it's a lot more toned down and not as cutesy. So once again, if you want to see my Korean haul, check that out down below. And make sure you follow me on my social media if you haven't yet to keep up to date with me what's happening in Japan. Also follow me on my vlog channel if you want to see, I guess, more everyday life Japan videos. Also let me know what you guys want to see on this channel as well. Let me know down below. Uh, thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!